Great. Good day, everyone. Hello and welcome, welcome. This is another episode of Conversations with Anglicans. My name is Anika Gent, and I am from the parish of St. Jude in Arima, here in the Anglican Church of the Diocese of Trinidad and Tobago. With us today is, I know you're seeing two people in the frame, but there's one of them in particular <laughs> that we will be chatting with. Um, and of course, you're going to guess the other, the other young lady is mommy who is lending the much needed support. All right. So I have with me, you want to say an amazing young man? As we do the interview, you'll understand why I say that. His name is Dominic Andiford. Hi, Dominic. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Yes, we give it a little wave. We give it a little wave. <laughs> and with him is his mom. Mommy, how are you? I'm fine. Great. Introduce yourself to our listeners and our viewers. So my name is Shadi Agar. I'm Dominic Sandiford's mom, and we attend church at St. Andrew Anglican Church in Cuba. In Cuba. Wonderful. Wonderful. So welcome, welcome, welcome. So nice of you to join us. Yes? So, Dominic. If you were to describe yourself, you could pick any three words, Dominic. Always ask um, persons that I interview th with this question. So any three words, how would you describe yourself? I am smart. Smart? And What's I am help. help. I am. You can say the second one again for me. Smart, helpful, and what's the other one? Brave. Brave. You certainly are brave, Dominic, because <laughs> you're doing an interview with us. Yes. You want to share with um, the persons watching on. How old are you, Dominic? I am eight years old. Eight years old. You're sitting here chatting with us. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Um, share a bit more about yourself, Dominic. What class are you in now? What class are you in vacation? So what class are you going to enter into come September? Standard 2. Standard 2. Are you excited about going up to a new class? Yes. Yes, I love that because you are, you are very smart, not so. Yes, I am very <laughs> <laughs> and I heard you also get excellent grades in school. What do you enjoy the most about school? Can you share that with us? I love the way that my teacher always makes our lessons fun and exciting. Hello. I love it. I have to come and meet your teacher. Huh? <laughs> I love it. And how has the vacation been going for you thus far? It has been fun. I have spent at I have spent time at my grandparents' house. Nice. And my father. Oh, nice. The most exciting thing I did was made was made a turtle and a boat out of craft material with the help of my Auntie Suzette. Auntie Suzette, yes, I happen to know your Auntie Suzette, you know. And on top of that, Dominic, I saw a picture of that, though, the arts and craft that you did, you know, she shared it with me. They were excellent, yes? Good, good job. You spoke about a third Dominic, yes? yes? So I understand that from a very young age, you have already decided what you want to be when you get older. Is that true? Yes, I have. Tell, tell us what it is. I want to be a priest. You want to be a priest? 
Now, Dominic, a lot of people will be curious, all right? Tell us why you are interested in becoming a priest. It is important to me because I love to praise God. I love to pray for people and I want yeah. to, to encourage more people to come to church. Wow, you love praying for others. Dominic, that absolutely warms my heart, you know. Do you know that you're only eight years old, Dominic? <laughs> Do you know that? <laughs> that is beautiful. Um, so tell us, have you started preparing, okay, to become a priest? Because you know preparation is important. Have you started preparing? What have you been doing? Have you been watching videos? Have you been, um, tell us. I prayed, I practiced doing my church services from the Book of Common Prayer. Hello. I also read it during virtual church services. Right. So you're telling me you having your own church at home there? Yes. So who, who is in the congregation, mommy? <laughs> my mommy, my grandparents. Right. My sisters, my stepfather. Yes. Amani, he, he training himself as well. Eh, eh, what is he training to be? <laughs> I right, right. So you have really been practicing, Dominic. You you are you are making sure you are prepared. Yes? Yes. Good, 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 good. This this is this is amazing. <laughs> I am really a, a cast up smiling, darling. I would not tell you how I think you are so incredible. Yes. And I also heard, Dominic, that you keep asking for certain particular items for your birthday and for Christmas because you want to add, you want to build, build up your church. Yes. So I see, I think one of them is what you have on now. Yes. Yes. Okay. And I, I heard you also wanted a bell. And you're also looking for a special, special item for Christmas um, to come. Yes? What's that? A bishop hat. The bishop, the hat that the bishop wears. Because <laughs> right now in my church, I'm, I'm the archbishop. Oh, right now in your church. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I absolutely love it, Dominic. I absolutely love it, right? Okay, so you usually worship at which church? That's St. Um, Andrew's Anglican Church in Coover? Yes. Yes, okay. Have you been able to speak to the priest there at your church to kind of find out what it's like being a priest? Yes, I have. I spoke to Father Lynch when he was our priest. He told right. me it was a great decision and that I should start becoming an athlete as soon as possible. As soon as possible. That is excellent advice. He said it was a great decision and you should become an acolyte as soon as it is possible. Yes? And I am sure you are working towards that, Dominic. Yes? Yes. Good, good, good. I have another question for you, Dominic. If you were able to interview, I'm going to, our bishop, so that is um, the Right Reverend Claude Berkeley, the Bishop of the Anglican Church here in the Diocese of Trinidad and Tobago. So if you were able to meet him and have an interview with him, you know, like how we have in this interview, yes? What is one thing you would want to find out from him? One thing. Is it difficult being a bishop in Trinidad and Tobago? No, that is a good question, Dominic. That's a real good question. I happen to know the bishop, you know, so 
I might put in a, I put in a word for you. All right? <laughs> okay, great. Dominic, now I, I want to ask you another question, right? If you be, or when I should say, you become a priest, what would you like to do? What's one thing in particular you would like to do? The first thing I would look forward to doing when I become a priest is yes. teaching about the word of God and inviting them to my church. Yes, teaching them about the word and let them come into the church. I love it. It could build and grow, right? Love it, love it, love it. All right. If Dominic, for some strange reason, you know, you, for some strange reason, don't become a priest. For some strange reason. We just, we imagine in this, right? What else would you like to do? I would like to become a policeman so that I could teach people right from wrong. Mm. But I would still go out and talk to people about God. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So you're still sharing the word, right? No matter what. Good? Love it. Great. So, Dominic, we're going to have a little fun. Thank you so much for sharing a bit about yourself with us. Oh, I also want you to enjoy this interview and remember it. So, we're going to have a little fun, all right? We're going to play two games. You ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, for the first game, all right? I am going to ask you a question about your favorite things. Yes? And you have about five seconds. You have a lot of time. Don't think too long about it. Yes? Just, yeah, five seconds. Just give me the first answer that comes to your head. All right? It's about your favorite things, Dominic. Okay? okay. Good, 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 good. You ready? All right, let's go. Dum, 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 dum. So, your favorite subject? Mathematics. Right. You're quick. I love it. <laughs> your favorite color? Orange. Orange. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Your favorite food? Five seconds, five seconds. Say that again? That's Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, your favorite thing to do for fun when you're not having church, that is. Yeah? For fun, what do you like doing? Playing with my brother. Playing with your brother. Oh, nice. Your favorite holiday. Do you like a favorite holiday you like to celebrate? Or even when you're in church, your favorite time of the year in church? You have one of those? That's Christmas, yes, because you get presents, right? Yes. <laughs> I know that. I know that. All right. What about a Bible story? A story in the Bible that you may have heard. Noah, you... the ark. Noah and the ark. And him bringing on the animals on the ark, right? Yes. Right. Before there was a big flood. I love it. And here's the final one, Dominic. The final one <clears throat> for this game. Your favorite hymn. Song to sing when you preach. Give What's it up? Give, give thanks. Up. Let's give thanks with a grateful heart. That's up? Yes. You see, Auntie knows song too, you know. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, one more game, Dominic, because I mentioned there were two, right? With this game, mm -hmm, I like what you're doing. <laughs> It's called Finish the Song. So we ended off the other game with songs. So I know you have church. And I know part of church service, you have to be singing the hymns, right? And singing songs. So I picked some songs that are lovely children's songs. And I am sure you know those songs, Dominic. I am sure. So Auntie is going to start singing a few words. And you're going to see if you could finish off finish the sentence or that part a little part of the song all right you think you're ready all right good 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 thumbs up um.
Good. Let, let's do it. So the first one, Dominic. <clears throat> and she has to clear her throat. Jesus love is a Jesus love. Jesus love is a I don't know that. <laughs> you know that one? Jesus love is a bubbling over. Jesus love <laughs> is a bubbling over. That's all right. That's okay. That's fine. That's another song you can add to your kid service. All right? Okay. Let's try the second one. Read your Bible, pray every day, and you grow. I love it. Good job, good job, good job, good job. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to have one more for you. Let me see if you know this one. Father Abraham had many sons. All right. Had many sons. Had Father Abraham. And I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right hand, Father Abraham. Good job, good job, Dominic. You did excellent. I'm gonna give you an A plus for that one. <laughs> you had you did a wonderful, wonderful job, all right. Okay, now, mommy, I know you've been sitting and you've been watching on. I mean, I am absolutely amazed and I am inspired by Dominic as well. So how do you feel about his ambitions of becoming a priest? Well, I am very proud. I am blown away by his decision. I'm sure um, you are, yes. Because... Yeah. To be the priest of the family, we all excited about seeing him along the journey. Yes, uh, good, 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 good. Can you say who or what you think may have influenced him um, from such a young age? I mean, I, I feel odd saying a young age because he still is. <laughs> from a well, younger age, rather. Yeah. We would have been church almost every Sunday. Right. And would have been a family ritual, but yeah. he influenced on his own. I guess he was moved by the Holy Spirit because Amen. he would not, uh, he would sit in the aisle where he could pay attention to everything that's happening in church, and he right. made this decision on his own. His own. Good, good, good. I mean, it's as they say, train up a child in the way that he or she should. I mean, this is a perfect example of that. Uh, do what do you do in particular as a parent to really support us and encourage him? Okay, well, he would have been doing his own church services, but he wanted to get more into the Anglican way, so I would have taught him. I was an acolyte myself. So what oh, I would have now I see where yes. <laughs> on the services using the Book of Common Prayer, um, specific songs that we use for well, sp specific hymns that we use for the services. Um, right. everything that he asks for his church, I try to get it for him. But of course, yes. <laughs> we always encourage him, also being a part of his service as well. When well, I was just him. about, yes, I was just about to remind you that. I mean, you have to sit in the congregation. <laughs> and I hope you're on time for church, you know, mommy. Yes, and he is particular about time and not speaking in his church. Wow, okay, okay. Except if you're singing, of course. Except, except. <laughs> Unless I give you a three. Oh, yes, of course, you have to read. That, that, is, that is correct, yeah? So otherwise, they have to pay attention, yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but this, this is wonderful, absolutely amazing. I mean, I must say. And he seems, he seems so very sure about what he wants to do, yes? Very sure. Good, good, good. good. <laughs> 
All right, now, Dominic, thank you, thank you again for sharing with us. I think you have been an amazing example of the beauty of, uh, or the rather, the power of God working through each one of us. Uh, it also shows that age really is just a number, and I want to encourage you to continue pursuing your dreams. Um, and if you want to be a priest or bishop or just whatever you want to be, uh, Dominic, continue to trust in God and continue reaching out and trying to achieve your dreams. All right? Yeah? Good, 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 good. So to close us off, Dominic, I want to ask you, what advice would you give to other young boys like yourself or young girls as well who themselves may be interested in becoming it's a priest or just pursuing some dream that they want to pursue? What advice would you give them? What would you tell them, Dominic? I would tell them and keep praying to God and keep following your dream. And if you work hard, it can come true. Daddy, I think I'm going to share it here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they must be praying and keep following their dreams. And if they work hard and they believe in it, yes, and they trust in God, it will come true. Beautiful words. I could not have said it better myself, uh, Dominic. That is excellent advice. Yes? To close us off, Dominic, it would be an absolute honor if you could say a word of prayer. Can you do that for us? Yes, I can. But before I say the prayer, can I show the turbo and the boat? But of course. Oh, you have arts and craft to share with me. Of course, let us see. That is what you made with Auntie Suzette? Yes. Oh, Fanta, let's see. Right, let's see how we open it. And what you're putting inside of there? The ink bag. Right. The ink bag. Okay. <laughs> This one is the inside right? Oh, wow. Look at the handle and thing. Papa, so you made that with Auntie Suzette? Yes, I did. Good, good, good. I know you have, I know your Auntie Suzette loves you very much. For her to be making such beautiful crafts with you. Yes? <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna tongue. Let's send a wave to her to thank her, right? And send love for her lovely, lovely. Love. And so you're using those in your church, of course. Yes, I am. <laughs> Expect nothing less. Excellent. Amazing, amazing. Great. All right. So you're ready for a prayer? A closing prayer? Yes, I am. Then I'm gonna bow my head. Lord, I thank you for this prayer that I say. Bless this room. Keep them safe and them. Bless them so they can come to you and keep on with the word of God. Bless them so that they can follow their dreams. Yes. In the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Dominic, again, thank you so much for sharing with us. Yes. And um, I look forward to seeing you in church <clears throat> sometime, Dominic. Yes. Good, 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 good. Mommy Sade, thank you so much. I mean, may God continue to bless both of you. Yes. Yeah, Take care. No problem. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.